Yeah, after a difficult evening that season's fall to defeat against MK Dons, what's your reaction to tonight's performance? A bit of shock, really. Um, yeah, was really disappointed, obviously. You know, it's a hard night uh, to comprehend after a high of Saturday when um, everyone connected to Arabic Town wore the shirt with pride and, and um, it made it for a great weekend, but it, it was definitely a, a laugh to Lord, after the Lord Mayor's show. Uh, couldn't get to anywhere near the levels um, on on any aspect of the game tonight. Can you pinpoint the reason for that? Obviously, we had a couple of big derby wins of late, which we sort of fell back down to earth the game after. Is there a sort of particular reason or reasons you've identified? Um, it's, it, it's, it's a challenging time because it's going from right up there to really low the level. Uh, and we're showing that we can be capable one minute and then uh, incapable of consistency the next. Um, so, yeah, we're going through the middle of it. Um, it's covering about characters and whether they can have that capacity or whether, um, you know, we've got to look at the psychology of it. You know, we're, it was the same tactics tonight. It was set out to do the same things, but obviously we came up against a really good team and um, there was a, a bit of mental capitulation uh, throughout the goals. Were, were awful to concede. Um, you know, coming in at 3 0 down when we were poor and 1 0 down to then the second, the second and third goals just made it, you know, a mountain of a task to have to overcome in that second period. And then obviously the final two goals were, were awful defending. Like I say, I think the opening 20 25 minutes looked to be a fairly even contest. You know, both sides were going at each other a little bit without one getting the advantage. As you mentioned there, the frustration with yourself and the coaching staff has been right on the stroke for half time, a couple of injuries, just from, you know, going from one nil down where we've got something to, mm. to go at second half to three nil where the game's almost done, isn't it? Yeah, no, I, I completely uh, agree with that. I, I, I have to say, I thought, you know, we had one or two openings and the one or two passages of play, but I was still, I was fearful. I thought the cut through was a lot more than Bradford did on Saturday in the first 20 minutes and the warning signs were there. Uh, we tried to be a bit more solid with it. Um, but the, uh, it, yeah, the, the scoreline was deserved, you know, in the end. And, and they, they went back, um, the better team, uh, and the hammered us tonight. And quite right. So we, you know, we, we were nowhere near the level from Saturday, which is, which is frustrating. It's back to the drawing board. Um, and you yeah, know, we'll look through it tomorrow and, and go for it and aim to be better. And that's what we have to be. I think the atmosphere tonight was, it, it was completely, in contrast to Saturday, and we obviously, you know, were on the back of a really good display on Saturday, and you know, it, it was very quiet, and we, we just haven't helped ourselves in that respect either. Are there any positives you can take? Well, obviously, you got it three 0 down. The second half, there was some resolve and some battle shown by the side. Yeah, yeah. First half an hour or so. Certainly, um, we wanted to just a bit of a cliche, but win the second half to restore pride. I thought, for the large part. You know, we were a lot more fluent with the play and than we were first half. And, and um, you know, we were in the ascendancy. I mean, it's easier to do it at the 3-0 position than to drop off. But, um, yeah, there, there were some decent individual performances from Ellis Taylor and Stephen Dooley, who's, again, the driving force for us. Um, but we've got to stick together, you know. And that if that means that, OK, we lose 3-1, um, but we can't quite get the second or third, even though we did have decent opportunities. Then it stays at 3-1 from a defensive point of view. Um, but all the team have to find a way of defending better and not capitulating. You know, it, it's not always that you can come back to 3 all and or win 4-3, but you don't go and concede the sloppy two goals that we did, um, which then put a gloss on it for them. But also, it's a big blow for, for our morale. Uh, because no one likes going home losing 5 1. Quickly, just to finish, we saw a pair of injuries tonight with Liam Gibson and Josh Falkman, and also maybe a bit of a scare for James Belshaw in the first half. Is there any update on any of those players? No, I bet it's fine. Um, but uh, the other two, yeah, the first instincts are the one fit for the weekend. Uh, it, two dead legs uh, for Falks, um, which is a real blow, you know, losing the skipper, just come back in. Um, hopefully it's not too severe. And Liam Gibson felt his hamstring again. So, yeah, it's been troublesome for him. Uh, there was a nagging nerve issue uh, the other day, even that he was fantastic. And yeah, we, it's another big player. He'll be out for us. But um, 
Uh, we've always said, I've said in the changing room, our best player has always been the team, the team mentality. And, and we have to show that fortitude now. You know, we're, we've shown that we are capable and we've shown that um, when we go into a losing position, we have to show greater resolve yeah, and, and greater togetherness um, and not go out as individuals and pressing ones and two. We've got to stay together and, um, and show the mental strength that's got us in the first place. Okay. Thanks, Gaffer. Appreciate it. Thank you.